After a sprawling investigation over the course of five years, the court in Paris has spoken. 87-year-old Lamine Diak, the former boss of the global athletics body IAAF, has been found guilty of corruption and breach of trust. It's four years in prison, two of which suspended. Diak's lawyers say they will appeal. Cette décision est une décision qui est injuste, inhumaine. Elle est injuste parce qu'on voit que le tribunal a cherché à faire dans le politiquement correct, a voulu se servir de Monsieur Diak comme étant en bouc émissaire. The judge said that during his 16-year tenure as head of the IAAF, the Senegalese sports administrator was part of a scheme that allowed Russian athletes to pay large amounts of hush money to keep competing when they should have been suspended for doping. The court also handed a guilty verdict to Diak's son, Papa Masata Diak, who embezzled funds while he was a marketing consultant for the IAAF. He's been sentenced to five years prison in absentia, but he lives in Senegal, which has refused to extradite him. We are innocent. I am innocent of the facts and the accusations. No proof, tangible and irrefutable, can be opposed. Lamine Diak was also found guilty of accepting Russian money to help finance Macky Sall's 2012 presidential campaign in Senegal. And there's still more to investigate. Both father and son are suspected of corruption in the awarding of the 2020 Olympic Games to Tokyo and the 2016 Games to Rio de Janeiro.